Hello nonfiction and STEM fans, this is Kirsten Larson, author of the recently released A True Wonder, illustrated by Katie Wu. Today I'm here with another nonfiction or STEM book review. I am reviewing The Secret Science of Sports. The math, physics, and mechanical engineering behind every Grand Slam, Triple Axel, and penalty kick. This is by Jennifer Swanson. Um, so, I've worked scholastic book fairs at many an elementary school, and I can tell you that sports books are infinitely popular. Kids really gravitate to a lot of the um, sports books, especially by companies like National Geographic or Guinness Book of World Records. And what I love about this book is that um, Jen Swanson has tapped into a topic that kids love and shown kids how um, STEM is inherent in sports. So here's just a little snippet from um, the introduction. It says, if you picked up this book, it's probably because you like sports. Maybe you wanna see if it has tips for how to improve your game. It does. Or how to become more fit. It has that too. Or just because you wanna learn more about different types of sports. Also there, as you can tell, it has great voice. Um, but wait, the title says, The Science of Sports. That means this book also teaches you about science. What does a sports book have why does a sports book have science in it? These two subjects seem so different. It's not as if sitting in a science class can teach you more about your sport than practicing it. Actually, it can. Does that surprise you? It shouldn't. Um, so anyway, uh, Jen Swanson goes on to talk about how science impacts sports. And I have to tell you, um, at one of our local uh, so kids hands-on science museum, there is a fabulous hands-on hockey exhibit which talks about a lot of the same things that Jen talks about in this book and it helps kids see um, how friction and all kinds of things um, play into sports. So um, the cool thing is you can go, uh, there is a table of contents, so you can go topic by topic um, like chapter one is putting the science in sports and she has a whole section about body science and how different body types may help us be predisposed or have an advantage in different sports. She talks about brain science, um, how our focus um, impacts different sports and balance. Um, then she has, a, chapter two is all about technology, um, engineering, and math plus sports equals knowledge. Um, so calculating like um, probabilities and percentages, batting averages, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so you can read the book uh, cover to cover following chapter by chapter, or if you have a particular sport that you like, you can flip to the index in the back and look it up. So I uh, started playing tennis about a year ago and I'm a huge tennis fan. So I went to the index and looked up some of the tennis topics and I found out that tennis rackets are now made out of graphene, which is a carbon-based substance, um, very related to graphite and diamonds. And um, that graphene has made tennis rackets a lot um, lighter than they used to be. They used to be made out of wood and they had strings that wouldn't give. So this is in the technology chapter and we can learn about how new technology is advancing um, sports. So the, the thing that's really cool about this book is um, there are little sidebars which are in orange and it's chock full of um, illustrations, which make it really uh, fun to read in little bite-sized chunks. So if you, um, this is definitely a middle grade book. If you have um, upper elementary or middle school students who are into science or into sports and you're trying to hook them into something interesting to read, I highly recommend The Secret Science of Sports by Jennifer Swanson.